In this chapter, we are going to assemble our elements to create a first version of our comp, that we also call a slab comp. Then, in the next chapter, we will refine it to obtain the final comp. In this chapter, you will discover the merge node, how to do color corrections, and how to use the different layers of the EXR files. Now, in this video, we are going to discover the merge node. So, we have all our elements loaded into read nodes. Now, it's time to assemble them together. So first, let's organize them a little bit. I like to position them depending on their superposition. Different compers will have different habits, but usually we will place the layers which are the further away from us at the very top of our comp. And as we will go down, the elements get closest to us. You can do whatever you want, but I can tell you that this method is widely used. Now, to move nodes in the viewer, you just have to select one or several nodes and drag and drop them where, wherever you want. So here I will place my sky up there, and here I will place the planet layers, and here the ship, and finally I will have my lens flare. Um, I'll, I'll take care of that a little bit later, but let's place it here for now. Okay, now let's merge the sky and the earth. For that, I need a merge node. And the merge node is living here, in the merge category. It has as well the shortcut M, that we will use after. The merge node has two inputs, A and B. The A input will connect to the element in front and B to the element behind. So to remember it, like B as behind or background, it's up to you. So let's connect the A to the earth and the B to the sky. And now if we want to see the result of that, we will need to connect the viewer to the merge node. And voila, we have an incredible compositing. Okay, I will repeat the operation with the ship now. I will create another merge node by using the hotkey M this time and connect the ship in A and the result of the previous merge in B. And now we have the ship in the top of everything. Great. Okay, now in the next clip, let's discover how to use different fusion modes with the merge node. See you there.